I love Whoppers. I, I've turned Burger King into a crime scene a time or two. I absolutely love beef. Beef all the way. If it's not beef, I don't want it. First bite, I would know the difference between beef and whatever else you have. Wait, plant based. What are you talking about? No animals, just plants. Really? It tastes like a Whopper. It tastes like a Whopper. It tastes like a beef burger. That's impossible. It tasted just like a Whopper should taste. All right, time for Night Court on the docket tonight. Two fast food chains under fire. Now, vegans in the first one are suing Burger King for allegedly using the same grill to cook its meat and meat-free products. And McDonald's employees are suing over what they claim is a risk of violence at work. They say it's a daily risk. So let's bring in tonight's legal eagles, criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi and Washington Times legal affairs reporter and attorney Alex Swear. Great to have you both. Bob, what did you call this Night Court? I called it the food court tonight, it Shannon. It is the food court night court. That is accurate. Okay, so let's start with Exhibit A. Uh, these are folks who say they are found out that their vegan burgers or meat-free burgers are being cooked on the same grills as meat. It says defendant has no disclosures on its menus that would notify a consumer prior to their purchase of the Impossible Whopper that it was cooked in a manner that would result in meat byproducts on the burger. Same grill, Bob. Not okay. Yeah, well, listen, I, I don't agree with that. This patty is 100% non-beef. And so another thing that makes me laugh about this case is that this gentleman who's filing a federal class action mm -hmm. lawsuit this is serious. saw it, he smelled it, he ate it, and it was <laughs> after he ate it that he decided that he knew that that had meat products on mm. it. I'm going to be arguing in court, Shannon, where's the beef? Oh, Where's no. The you have to be of a certain age. We're giving ourselves away, Bob, that we know what that is. Okay, so let's go to Exhibit B. We'll put this up because this is the ad that um, the Burger King has on its website and puts out about the Impossible Whopper. Now, at the very bottom, you can see that it says, for guests looking for a meat-free option, a non-broiler method of preparation is available upon request. That's Exhibit B, Alex. Does that absolve them of any liability? It's too small. And the other part, too, is when um, they are driving through, for example, I think the, the client here, there was one that drove through, and the, the complaint says that they were never asked how they would like their burger prepared. Well, did, wait, they did they want the broiler option? King? Well, I guess not if like you're medium or well done or whatever. You're not, not meaning that. Not that specific. Okay. But would you not? Would you do not want your Impossible Burger, for example, cooked on the same grill as regular mm -hmm. burgers? They they could ask for a microwave option or a, bro a broiler, and they did not. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. Let's turn to McDonald's then. We'll see what happens with BK. I have not had the Impossible Burger. Have I, either of you tried it? I have not. I've heard but it does, say, it does say 0% beef, and I you don't think know. if it touches the grill, then maybe know. there's an issue. There might but, be but, some but grease if, there if from some meat. If you're concerned about that, though, we should ask how do you prepare your food if mm. it's something that's so important that you need to file a federal complaint about it. People <laughs> do that all the time. All right. Well, you know, there, there are a lot of people who would be happy to file complaints, no matter what, and attorneys who will take them, as we all know. Okay, let's move on to McDonald's, because now we have these employees who say, listen, it's gotten so dangerous to work there it, that the way that these stores are designed, and the conditions that they're put under, the extended late hours without security. They say it's a very frightening situation. Exhibit C, this is an attorney for the McDonald's workers who say they don't feel safe. A customer beat a worker with a heavy plastic sign. A customer disrobed and threw kitchen equipment at workers. A customer pepper sprayed workers. Customers, customers exposed genitals to workers, made loose comments to them, and in one instance, even urinated on a worker. Bob, these people say it's not safe there. Yeah, but you know, listen, Sean, the, the thing is here, they're making an argument because of the late hours. Just an FYI to people are in business. They're in business to serve customers, as many customers as they can. They also argued that the physical location made it easier for people to attack them. The simple fact of the matter is, I would suspect that most of these places are in high crime areas with mentally ill or drug addicted people. And the funny thing about this lawsuit is those extended hours that they complain about are the very reasons those people people that are suing them are employed in the first place. So I don't see how McDonald's can stop, or any fast food restaurant for that matter, those things that happen. I bet you this doesn't happen at McDonald's in less crime-oriented mm. locations. Okay, so Exhibit D then for Alex, this is McDonald's statement. They say McDonald's takes seriously its responsibility to provide and foster a safe working environment for our employees, and along with our franchisees, continue to make investments in training programs that uphold safe environments for customers and crew members. In addition to training, McDonald's maintains policies against violence in our restaurants. Alex, they say they're on it.
Yeah, and it's interesting because if they did ask the employees what they thought of the design, for example, that's one of the key points in, in this lawsuit, they would say that they think the counters, for example, are too low. They would like them higher so the customers aren't able to crawl over. And there was an interesting point, too, that restrooms, you know, are, are located around the back so that other employees, if someone had to go clean, they can't see what's going on mm -hmm. in there. And there's actually been women, um, female employees, who have been insult assaulted in the, in the bathrooms. So I do think that there's a valid complaint about the way that the corporate designs the structure of the, the restaurants. Hmm. All right, I'll well, we go, make it quick, Bob. We're going to go. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's a federal court of appeals case that recently said, because these are franchises, that they're not going to hold McDonald's responsible mm -hmm. for the uh, problems with their employees because they don't have enough control. So that's mm -hmm. going to be the end of that suit. That is another interesting angle on this. All right, now I'm hungry, and after the show, I will have to find out a Burger King that is open, and I will try the Impossible Burger and let everybody know how it is. Bob and Alex. Maybe you can join me. Good to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Most